Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to create this Marauder's Map footstep effect that you have probably seen in Harry Potter if you have watched the series. And this comes from a student question in my complete After Effects course. So thank you for the question and I am happy to uh, give you this quick tutorial on how to do it. It's actually not too hard. It looks uh, pretty intricate, but it's a very easy effect to do. So what you're seeing here is what we'll be creating. The first thing we have to do is to get the assets that we're going to be using, which includes a map texture and the footprints. So if you go over to Google and you just type in map texture, you can find some map textures under the images. And if you go under search tools and then usage rights, and then go to labeled for reuse, you will find map textures that you are able to use for free basically uh, without paying uh, to get the copyright. So go ahead and download one of these images just by clicking and viewing it, right clicking it, saving to your, your computer. Then go ahead and type in shoe print. Now there are a few different types of shoe prints. Let's try shoe prints. There's one that I found. Let's take off the labeled free for free use and we're going to go ahead and use this one from Clicker. So if you go ahead and visit the page from clicker.com, you can download this and use it in your projects. So I will now go to my files. I will go ahead and bring in my shoe prints and my background texture to an After Effects project. And then go ahead and create a new composition. We'll just call this full comp. And we'll make this 1920 by 1080. 10 seconds is good enough. We can even do like five seconds for this. The first thing we're going to do is drop in our texture and we're going to make it just about a little bit bigger than the frame size just by bringing up the scale by pressing S on your keyboard and dragging down the scale. The next thing we're gonna, we're gonna do is set up our footprints. So what you can do is just take this footprint three PNG that we downloaded drag it onto the new composition button down here. And what that will do, it will bring this image into a composition and make it that size. Now we can't see it right now because it is black, so go ahead and click this toggle transparency grid that allows us to see both footprints. What we're going to do is basically separate these footprints and create an individual composition for each, uh, each side. So let's just call this left. Then take our pen tool. With this selected, we're going to create a mask around the left foot print. So just click with the pen tool around our left footprint. So now our left footprint is right there. What I'm going to do now is duplicate just by selecting this layer, pressing Command D, selecting either one and pressing M and then under the mask options, change from add to subtract. Now what that does, if I turn toggle one of these on and off, we can see that this one is now our left foot, footprint, and then this one is now our right footprint. Now what I'm going to do is put them on top of each other. So with my selection tool, I'm just going to move them so they're right on top of each other. So just using your mouse or using the arrows on your keyboard, just move them about right on top of each other. I'm going to duplicate this composition by selecting it and pressing Command D. And then I'm going to change this to right. I'm going to open up the right foot. And with the right foot, I'm just going to turn off or actually take out the left foot. So I'm just selecting that layer and deleting it. With the left foot now, I can delete the right foot layer. Okay, so now we have our footprints. What we're going to do now is create the animation of the footprint coming onto our screen. So I'm just going to create a new composition. I'm just going to call this like 700 pixels wide, 1080 pixels tall, that's good. So now we have this composition that looks like this. I'm going to click the toggle transparency grid so I can see what I'm working with. And then I'm going to bring in my right and left shoe prints and just dragging them down onto my composition. Now this is really big, so we're going to decrease the size to something like 
8% or so. And then we're just going to move them into some sort of place where we think they should go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, which will make everything easier, is animate these first two shoe prints. And then we're going to basically duplicate them and animate them where we want them to go. So the way that the Marauders map works is that it's a very simple fade on and off. So starting with the left foot, I'm going to drop it down to the bottom because this is our first footprint. And we're going to work from the bottom of the, to the top. Press T on your T keyboard to bring up opacity. Set a keyframe at 100% and put it around 20 frames or so. And then go back and drag the 100% to zero. And now we have this fade on for this foot. Select both keyframes and press easy ease on your keyboard, which is F9, or you can right click, click keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. After about a second and a half or so, we're going to fade off this shoe. So I'm going to select this opacity of 100%, do, or copy it, and paste it with my keyboard, Command-C, Command-V on a Mac, Control-C, Control-V on a PC. Then I'm going to go forward about another 20 frames or so, select this first keyframe, and paste it. So now we have this shoe coming on and off. What I'm going to do now is select all of these keyframes and paste them onto this right foot. I'm going to paste it right before this left foot is fully on, fully uh, op opaque. So right about here, I'm going to select my right foot and paste it. So now if we turn it on, we see the first steps of our composition. So what we're going to do now is just duplicate both these layers, select both, Command D or Control D on a PC, and then we're going to move them up. So just move them until you think it looks pretty natural in terms of the length of your footsteps. And then we're going to duplicate again, move them above, and then move them up. And now we can start to rotate them. So press R on your keyboard with both of these selected and rotate by like seven degrees to the right. And then maybe move them slightly to the right. Just nudge them over, select them, use your keyboard arrows to nudge them to the right. And then select both again, move above, put them up and to the right a little bit and then R for rotation and rotate them even more, something like 14. Now these are getting a little bit close together so I want to make sure that it looks natural. And then let's just do the left foot one more time. And we'll just move this up and rotate about 21, maybe even more, 28. Something like that looks pretty good. So now we just have to stagger them because now they're coming on all at once. So select all of your layers in your, in your timeline by just Command A or Control A. Press U to bring up all the keyframes. Now we're just going to stagger them. So just drag them one at a time over to the right so that they're all staggered the keyframes are staggered. So you should see like a step in the keyframe, like so. And it looks like our composition isn't going to be fast enough. So let's just see what it looks like, like this. That looks pretty good. I think it could go a little faster. So I'm just going to move all these just a little bit back, like so. And let's see what it looks like. That's pretty good. So we would continue to animate these, um, but for most of these animations on the Marauders map, they just kind of go and then they turn off for a second. If this is looking a little too slow to you, what you can do is 
make sure that we can see all the keyframes. So this composition right now is five seconds. It's a little too short. So let's go up to layer or composition, composition settings, and we'll change this to seven seconds right here. So now we'll be able to see all of our keyframes. Now to easily speed up all these keyframes, select all of them like so, dragging and selecting all, hold Option or Alt on your keyboard, select the rightmost keyframe and drag to the right. You know what's gonna happen actually now because these keyframes are off of where this layer is, what we're going to do is actually take the leftmost and drag to the right. So, and then we can select all of them and drag them to the left. And so now we have our animation of the shoe prints. So let's go back to our full comp. We're going to take our shoe prints, which is this one. I'm going to call this shoe prints or footprints. We're going to put it on top of our map texture. And now if we drag over here, we can see our footprints. Now what we're going to do is change the layer blend mode from normal to overlay of the shoe prints. And if you don't see that, you'll see a little toggle transparency down here or toggle modes down here. And so then what we're going to do is drop the opacity just a little bit. So press T on your keyboard and drop the opacity to like 80. And then maybe just rotate this a little bit. So I'm just pr pressing R, rotating the footprints, maybe moving them over here. So this looks pretty good. They are coming on on our map. And now just to add a little bit more of an effect to make it look a little bit more natural like the map in Harry Potter, what we're going to do is parent this shoe print layer to the map texture. With the map texture, we're going to press S to bring up scale, set the scale for keyframe for however big it is right now, move that back to zero frames. And then in the last frame, we're going to increase to something like let's say 76%. So that is making it look a little bit more dynamic and we're just going to add a rotation as well. So R to bring up rotation, set a keyframe at the very beginning and then a keyframe at the very end, rotating. And now let's look and see what our animation looks like. It's going to render out. But this is a pretty quick tutorial and a pretty cool effect that you can use. and then you can go ahead and add all the detail to this map or maybe this map texture you take into Photoshop before you even bring it into After Effects and you put the other details, the little images, the, the castle, the names, uh, or anything else that you want. But this is pretty solid. I would say that it looks pretty similar to what the footprints look like in Harry Potter. The only differences you could do is changing what the footprints look like. And you could actually even create these footprints very easily. So let me just show you how to do that. So if you go in the left foot, and if you just want to create a quick footprint, you can take your pen tool, change the fill to black, keep the stroke at zero, and then make sure nothing is selected down here so you can create a shape. And you can kind of just go ahead and click and create a shape and you can create two shapes actually until you have what looks like a footprint and you could create paw prints you could create really anything that you want with this so you'd have to go in here and edit it but you get the idea of what you can do on your own if you don't want to use the footprints that I, that you find online because the ones in Harry Potter are a little unique so if you're completely trying to to follow what is in Harry Potter you might have to do something more unique than just what you find online so that's how you create this Marauders map tutorial or After Effects effect uh, if you have any questions let me know otherwise please uh, like this video and subscribe on, if you're watching this on YouTube and check out my courses at videoschoolonline.com. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in another tutorial.